Okay, John the Van Guy. Today, something's gone wrong with my Porsche and it's the hood. This is uh, a box dress. Uh, not bad. Uh, 2004 box dress. Uh, hood mechanism has gone wrong. Um, the various reasons can cause this, the various things can cause that. Let's have a look through the mechanism itself. Um, we have a central motor here. You put the, you put the hood into service mode, um, which is basically lifting the hood partly up, unlocking it, lifting this, and you can use a tie to hold this up. I've just used a, a measuring cylinder, in fact, I found in the garage. It's about the right size, just to hold it up out of the way. Um, now here you have the motor itself. Uh, the motor, uh, from the motor, extends two cables, one to the right side and one to the left side. You have two transmissions, a transmission here and a transmission over there. Um, now these cables, once the motor goes, uh, or is, is turned on at the dash, these cables actually link in to um, the, the transmission actually the transmission is the the one linked into the electric is on the left hand side there's a switch on on the on the left hand side one um, but anyway, I've got that one out I'll show you in a minute so here we have the boomerang and on the boomerang we have uh, two hydraulic here arm which actually will lift the cam shell. Um, so we can just about see that. And the other end is attached to the hood and it should have like a ball socket, plastic ball socket thing on the end, which actually, I don't know if you can see it there. I'll show you on the other side, which actually slips onto a ball of the hood itself. Okay, you can see it on the other side. see that one. I can get it into focus. Yeah there it is. So now when you take these off this is what it looks like. So to actually get at the actual transmission and transmission on this side seems to be the one that's gone. Um, you've got to lift this plastic waterproofing. It's like a sponge. Uh, don't tear it, whatever you do. Uh, there's a few little plastic stoppers which can easily come out. And then you can ease it away. The cable, of course, runs along here, under it, and runs behind what the transmission case. So this is the transmission case which has come out. Easy to get out. Um, three bolts so that's it upright bolt there bolt there bolt there and that square hole is where the electrics go so it's only the left hand side's got the electrics electric switch which is if we can find it just a pull out and somewhere in there at the moment, but it's just a, it's a simple pull-out switch with the help of a flat-bedded screwdriver. This actually sits behind it, so it sits on like that, like that, and again this is to stop her water going behind it. This is like a protector. I think there's more. Uh, the latest ones have got a, uh, a flap up here, which actually. Uh, makes it a little bit more water resistant. So, now on here we have your boomerang. This is the boomerang that's come off. And again, what I showed you before, that's the actual thing that goes onto the board itself. The ball that goes onto the, or the socket that goes onto the ball. Now what happens is these are plastic. And these can be replaced. You can actually bind the sockets so and these are screw on. Um, the reason the plastic is because the mechanism is quite strong and uh, you can cause more damage if the plastic didn't break. 
So here we have, well, that's right. So this will go on here, on that one. There goes on that end and the cam shell will be on here attached to that. Um, so let's have a look at this. So here we have it. This is the right position. Uh, what can I show you? So what I've actually undone this already to see what's inside. So you get these star screws, there's seven of them, seven star screws. If you undo those, uh, this whole thing will lift off. Now there's two little black stops there and underneath the, there is the um, is a micro switch. The electric goes in here, attaches into the micro, micro switch assembly, which actually links into uh, the top of the gearing system here, plate. Um, what's it like inside? Well, uh, rather than take it off again, I can tell you that you where you go in here and let's see where the cable goes the cable goes in there and it's only pushed in and there's a little metal tab up here to actually hold it in so you press the metal tab off just move it and the cable will actually come out of there the cable actually links into there's like a worm screw behind here uh, and then there's a white cog, plastic. Again, the plastic cog is like a drive, the plastic driver, plastic cog, which apparently these can can break as well, but this one looks all right in this one I've looked. Now that, it sadly links into a sun wheel, which is a great big cog, uh, like a sun ring, if you like. It's a ring um, which actually moves uh, a system of internal planetary gears. Now there's four sets of planetary gears which run on the inside that and all together basically you, you create quite a lot of torque when this is switched on. Uh, moving this and hence the uh, boomerang which again operates the whole system. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm not sure what's actually gone wrong here. So either there's a few things that can go wrong. This is the kept one with the cable, and this cable is the wire. It doesn't look too good. So either the planetary gears have jammed. This cog, um, the, the, the initial drive cog seems to be okay. So I don't know if the planetary gears have gone, or there's something gone wrong with the cable. So what I thought I'd try and do, I'm waiting for a cable to come. And uh, what I thought I'd try and do is take off the end of the cable, uh, slip it into the drive, which will drive the worm screw, and using a drill, and this is how you move these things, you attach it to uh, uh, an ordinary uh, drill, and... Um, Actually, a battery-driven drill is the easiest to cope with. And by turning the thing forward or backwards, you'll actually be able to rotate all the gearing system, move all the gearing system and start moving this, and you'll see it actually move. So I'm going to try what I'll do, because this is damaged. This inner, inner wire cable is damaged, so I'll cut that end off and use that. And, and what I'm going to try and do is see and get this to move uh, by putting just a short piece in there then I'll know if it's the drive, uh, the cable, or or something within the gearing mechanism which has gone wrong. <clears throat> and uh, I'll come back to you. Um, that's all I can think of at the moment. What fun. Um, oh, the, the camshell itself. I've taken it off. And this is probably a good idea to take the capsule off, actually, because you can, you can distort it if you leave it on. 
start faffing about. And this is it. This is it. Oh. So, big cam, and that goes there. Those end go into the the side rails, and that's where I think those balls go. So what I'm going to do now, I think I'll take, is there only hold on with three bolts, I think, or three nuts. I might take these off the cam so I can work them separately uh, and fit them back to the arms on, the, on that piston uh, arrangement, the hydraulic arrangement. <clears throat> and then they can work without worrying about the cam. And then they can bolt the cam back on once they've got these all lined up and working in unison. Right, so that's where I am. Uh, just a very quick review. Okay, thank you.